Wait, okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so okay. we're here in Far Rockaway <laughs> yes. with Sophia. We're last night. In the back, we're in the back of the community center. We are. And I'm not gonna shine it around cause the focus because the focus is back here. <laughs> but you look great. But so last so night we were here and uh, it was already dark and we were kind of starting to pack up, getting ready to leave some of us and. Um, and two National Guard uh, military trucks pulled over right in front, um, like with people in full military uniform, helmets, and camo, and all sorts of shit that has nothing to do out here. And um, and we got kind of anxious and kind of confused, like we didn't know if they were trying to shut us down, if they were trying to mess with what we were doing. And um, and they pulled over Sal, the owner of this place, uh, to the side and. Uh, then they came over to us and let us know that they were here because they wanted to drop off all their food and water. They had the, the both trucks were full of food and water, and they uh, they wanted us to have it and hand it and out. And they wanted gasoline. Yeah. Hold on, gasoline. Gasoline transfer happening. Win. I need a drink. Okay. That's what I'm gonna drink. Don't drink the gasoline. <laughs> Um, Wait, stand over this there. Man, better, this better. man had a car back up on his knee today. Oh my god. He was directing traffic and he's hurt and he doesn't want to get medical attention. But anyways, um, so we were down here, these trucks pulled over, uh, National Guard, and uh, it turned out they wanted to leave all their supplies with us and have us hand them out because they don't really have drop-off spots. They're not right. really doing this work, you know, and they wanted us to, they recognize that we are doing it, that we've you know, that this is working and that people yeah. are coming here and that we're distributing throughout the Rockaways. And so they left us all their supplies. And as soon as they said that, all the volunteers and all the neighbors that, ha that were here asking for, for aid got into human chains and started unloading these trucks. And we started chanting, um, we are unstoppable, another world is possible. And everyone was chanting, everyone was super excited. And two cops, <laughs> Two cops started clapping and chanting and like oh my hanging God. out with us. <laughs> and it was just they were unreal moment. They were chanting another world is possible. I swear to God. And so then they cool. were chanting ain't no power like the power of people because the power of people don't stop. It yeah. It was wild. So amazing. <laughs> so this is Sophia from, uh, what are you guys calling this place? You got a name yet? Yana. The, Yana. the name of this community center. This this is a place that opened up a week before the hurricane as a community center and training for workers. And it's called Yana, which stands for You Are Not Alone. Yes. And so we think it's a more than fitting name. We don't that's, need to rename it for any reason. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much Absolutely. for all your work.